I've been catapulted out into your... Hi, we're here with Zane, otherwise known as Do You Like You. How's it going, Zane? It's going great, Mike. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So, right off the bat, I want to ask you about your video. The last, the last one you put out, it's called Mr. Love. Uh, I wanted to know, uh, you know, how much work did it take to put it together? Who was involved? That kind of stuff. So I've been working on that song for about a year and I couldn't quite like find the vibe that I wanted for it. And then uh, the whole COVID-19 quarantine started happening. Uh, I lived with my parents out in the boonies for a little bit yeah. and uh, went a little stir crazy on the property. And I recorded most of that song in a grain bin. So you'll hear like, it sounds like it's in big room. Oh man, I didn't, <laughs> uh, I didn't really know, fun. that's interesting. And you can actually see that grain bin in the beginning of the music video. That's what uh, my friend uh, Adriana or John Garcia, uh, you can see her coming out of it in the beginning of the video. It's pretty cool. But uh, I asked her to be in the video because she had posted a pic and I loved the look and I was like, let's let's roll with it. Yeah, well, it looks great, man. Yeah, this whole time I thought, I thought you just were running a bunch of stuff through Ableton or something like that, but that's cool that it's the actual acoustic sound from the bin. I like incorporating uh, realistic sounds and uh, human error into my music to where it's not everything's perfect. I like the naturalness of that's how that specific room sounds. You're never gonna hear that anywhere else. Where, where are you getting your influences from? Uh, some big influences for me, I'd have to say are like, St. Vincent, uh, Big Thief, uh, The Irons, they're a local band here in Austin, they're pretty cool. All sorts of inspirations, not just one specific artist or sound. Yeah, cool. So, do you have any stuff coming up for us that we need to check out? I do, I have an album that's about to drop here in about two weeks, check that out. It'll be called Infinity Can Wait, you'll see that on my social medias. And then I have a Valentine's Day EP in the works already. So I'm already about halfway done with that project. That one's coming in a lot smoother than the album did. But yeah, I've been working on this album for about two years now and it's finally about to drop. And I'm really excited for it. Man, I'm really glad to catch up with you again. You're doing so much stuff. Uh, so I just wish you all the luck in the world. Thank you so much, Mike.